guys it's me vandal and today is january 24th 2016 and it's day 24 of my 365 vlog and i'm kind of pissed off because i already did this vlog but during uh, exporting it, it my voice got some weird echo in it so i'm doing it again but i'll recap my day nonetheless so early in the morning around two i went outside and i had to do some shoveling because the snow fell like crazy because it actually was snowmageddon yesterday. So luckily my neighbor, he was nice enough to actually come out with a snow plow and just plow the sidewalk all the way up. I live on like a steep mountain. So um, that was really nice of him. So all I was left to do was work on the stairs. And I was like, yay. So that was nice. Uh, but that snow was real. And it was a real workout. And earlier when I did this video, I had just finished my workout. So the topic of the day is working out. And what I really wanna talk about working out today is just like getting into the habit of doing it every day and not dreading having to do it. Granted, this shit is not fun for anyone who, you know, does it and doesn't enjoy it. I mean, I think what one of the things I have to say me and working out is like a love-hate relationship. Like I love it because, you know, it makes me fit and shit and healthy. Not that I, but what I hate about it is that I actually have to do it. See, one of the things that I really enjoy is watching those infomercials about people losing weight because what they do is, one, they never show fat people. I don't understand that shit. I would love to see someone who was fat on the TV. So, you know, maybe I wanna be working out with them. Now I'm aspiring to be someone I ain't even at that level yet. You taking me a level one motherfucker trying to make me level 100 by just showing me what level 100 is. You never show me how to get there. I don't got all these steps in between. I gotta do all this research, but your product is apparently supposed to take me from level one to 100 and how many ever days it's actually gonna take, which I find is bullshit. But that in and of itself, I don't know, maybe seeing representation of fat people versus fat people not gonna make want, is not gonna motivate fat people to wanna be more fat. Maybe it'd be better if they showed the in-between part, but that shit would take too long. You only have like, what, 30 seconds in the commercial? So, that's one thing. So it's good for just like, health needs and whatnot. It also helps me, you know, work with making my body look nicer in some areas, you know? <laughs> that's the thing. And another thing is just, it's part of my goals for this year. So it's one of the things I, I, I wanna do to like get better. I'm trying to lose like 20 pounds by the end of the year, hopefully. Cross fingers. I mean, maybe that's not a lot to some people, but that's a lot to me. I'm just trying to like make my goals realistic. If I hit more than 20 pounds, great. If I hit under, then I fucked up. So try not to do that. That's one of those things. And it's like another motivator like I've been watching. I don't know why I've been watching, but I have is like my 600 pound life, which is the saddest show in the fucking world. Don't watch it. It's just gonna make you feel sad. And it's just you watch these people who are like really overweight and you just watch them and deal with their lives. TLC is fucking mean doing that, putting all these fat people out there. I mean, they signed up for that shit, but still it's sad. And I motivate myself not to be like that. Not, you know, I'm like what, 220, nine, seven. I haven't weighed myself in a while. So maybe I'm like, hopefully I'm 220. But that's probably not gonna happen. So. Yeah, another thing is like, I, I'm trying to do this workout thing every day. Initially, it was supposed to be like three times a week, but I ain't a workout nut. So it, it kind of turned into that because of this, but I'm trying to work out every day and it's hard. You know, the hard part is like uh, back to the um, before and after pictures. Like you see the before and after picture, but you never see the in-between. The in-between is the hardest part. And if there's anything that's the hardest part to doing this workout thing is doing it one, first for the first time and then two continuing to do it consistency and discipline are very important in doing this workout thing if you don't have those then this will not work so i'm just saying if you can have those two at least that's very good the third is you need motivation you need a goal to achieve too and see something through at the end of like all of your work because if you're just working out the whole time and you don't really enjoy it it's gonna be hard. So try and also find activities that are very intensive, but things that you like to do. You don't have to run on the treadmill the whole day for you to work out. It can be a sport too. So, I mean, 
that's something to think about as you mull over sitting in your chair watching this video <laughs> not working out well you should you should work out while watching my video that's what I would do but not too loud to any other music besides the sound of my voice yes I'm pissed off this video the first one was nice too I hate doing double take this one better come out nice or else I'm a flip shit so anyways uh, what do you guys think about working out? Um, are you an avid worker outer? Worker outer. The fuck? Okay. Um, someone who works out, what do you do? What's your routine? How'd you get into it? What do you do to supplement your workouts? Do you work out every day? Do you take a break? Do you do it once a week? Do you do it every day? Tell me in the comments your story, journey, whatever. If you're overweight, join me in the fight against the belly and unhealthiness. Yeah. So yeah, until tomorrow, if this video don't work, I'm gonna kill someone. Oh yeah, also, don't forget, like this video, please. And you know, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Vandal. Keep it 365. Bye.